Hello, this is Nick Peterson from Cherry Blossom Training, and in this video we're going to explore the Media Browser and how you can leverage its strengths to make your work in Premiere Pro easier and more efficient. The Media Browser is primarily used to view footage that you have not yet imported into your Premiere Pro project, but to do so with the power of hover scrubbing and filtering that's also available to you in the project panel. It also allows you to view footage on your hard drive that has been saved in a format that separates out the source media, like XDCAM or P2. In the editing layout, the Media Browser is nested in the same docking area as the project panel and is easily accessible by single-clicking on the Panel tab. The layout is similar to the project panel, but with a few noticeable differences. Along the left-hand side of the panel, you'll see an organizational area that allows you to quickly access favorite folders, as well as a system file structure. I'm working in Mac OS, so my structure will look different than a Windows structure. Additionally, by selecting one of your system hard drives, you can now view individual folders in the folder area, which behaves similarly to bins in the project panel. If we take a look inside this folder that's located on my desktop, we can see that there are several video files in the folder itself, as well as a subfolder that we'll explore in a moment. Each file has a thumbnail preview that we can hover scrub, and if we select the file, we can see a mini timeline that we can manually scrub. Additionally, we can use the JKL transport control keys to scrub footage on selected files. Additionally, we can filter out results by using the funnel-shaped filter icon at the top of the media browser. By filtering only JPEG files, for example, we can limit our view of the folder to only JPEG files. We can also filter files using the search bar and show only files with certain keywords in their file names or file-based metadata. Just make sure that you clear the search bar when you're done so that you can see all of the other media files in the folder. The Media Browser can interpret certain types of camera card data that have separate source media, as well as their metadata files. Premiere will display all of the footage in the folder as it would any other file, as individual clips. This can save time, as it eliminates the need to transcode those clips, as some other nonlinear editors require. So that you can see how this works more clearly, I'll bring up the Apple Finder with all of my footage, so that you can see how the files look outside of Premiere. You can see that the audio, video, and metadata have been separated into multiple files across multiple folders. Rather than trying to take a best guess as to which file is correct, by switching back to the Media Browser, we can see the files as individual clips in the same way that we would see any other files. We haven't changed anything about the files themselves, it's just that Premiere interprets the data for us to make it easier to use. There are many other ways to leverage the power of Media Browser, which we'll discuss in the next video. But for now, we know how to use Media Browser to quickly show us specific files, to filter results by file names or file types, and to easily view footage from storage formats that separate out source media like XDCAM or P2.